Hello everyone, Wraith here. Welcome to Piney Run version 3.1. Uh, this map actually came out uh, version 1.0 about seven months ago, but there has been a major update as of December 23 of 2022. So I wanted to be the first one to get it out. <laughs> Probably won't, but let's get started. So uh, it looks like they've upgraded the pickup uh, since then. Uh, it's a nice, nice looking rig with a new mod in here. It is a 2017 and uh, quite a nice interior. Comfortable, nice, nice bucket seats. Here's a white out of the map. Uh, the entire map as it is, as you can see, is mostly a forest map with some uh, arable, actually quite a bit of arable. These fields are actually quite large, ranging anywhere from, from what I can tell, uh, three you know, some of them are smallish, but some are, you know, 15, 20 acres. Uh, so, you know, there's there's a good amount of uh, going on for the arable. It also has the uh, ability for, as you can see, forestry. Uh, there's construction area up in this. There's also several different productions that have been added in by Poor Boy uh, and some contributors. Uh, that is, uh, Such Sneak did some lighting issues for them and RGC. Uh, that is the realistic gaming crew added a lot of fill types uh, that you really don't see on any other map. So very unique in a lot of ways, which I'm really, really excited to show you. Uh, you start off with quite a bit of land on Easy Farmer, uh, and it is quite expensive too. Um, one, a million, and then this is a nine acre field and a 12 acre field. Lots of areas to run forestry on. You also own a small plot of land here and then the construction area up here uh, where you can uh, do your construction. That'll cost you about 400000 But there are a lot of smaller areas that you can purchase that are not as expensive. You know, a modest house, uh, you know, eighty to 100000 I know housing prices are crazy, crazy nuts right now, but, you know, still a decent amount of money. So you can start off with something small. Uh, my design for this is I want to start this off as a starting with zero map uh, because of the potential uh, is huge on this. So this is great. It does start out with a very generous supply of uh, farming equipment, arable equipment, construction equipment, forestry equipment. Uh, so you can do with it as you please, sell it all off, change it all out. The map has been changed so that you don't get any of the default equipment as noted before and it looks like the animal structures have been fixed so that you can do those if you would like to do so so those are some nice updates that are in there and you know if you start on the uh, the hard or medium settings uh, you don't get any of the nices that originally come with this and i will show you those right now we'll go over them generally Let's go ahead and actually hop out. Some of them are right by here. There's a nice little lake area. And then your house is right here. Uh, there's no dressing point uh, no, to, for character changes, but Control P will uh, do the job quite nicely. Uh, there are three sh sheds right here uh, that disappear, obviously, on medium and hard. First, we start off with the uh, uh, Mack truck. It's the Ansem 6.4 or 6x4. Uh, 505 and there are several trailers that would go along with this one for grain hauling or grain hauling one for gravel hauling also for low loaders hauling stuff around um, a nice wind rower here to start out uh, if you're familiar with this and this is the original game on the max 950 kun and then a pottinger empress for bailing just up north here, or I should say north, uh, just west over here is a good-sized clamp for your silage and a semi-tractor trailer. Now, this is a nice tractor trailer. Uh, this is the Distinction. And one thing I do love about the Distinction is the dual cargo beds. That was a little interesting. I wasn't actually expecting to fall in, but we did. And then also we have... Uh, we have the Fent here, 314, all set up with your uh, front loader systems, bail forks. There's lots of other implements over there as well. Start off with the Kuhn 
4411. Uh, a nice mower. Uh, I do like that mower. I have used it before. It has a really nice spread uh, for getting things done. So uh, quite a good one. Uh, a decent little fuel fuel tank here. And then you have a water carrier here. Uh, I'm assuming that you can uh, go down and get water down at your lake down there. And then there's all these tools that you can do in here. Here's the corn header. The uh, Diamante 9, and this will that will set up for the ideal that's over there. Now this uh, planter, the Kinsey uh, 3665, is an all-in-one. Uh, it will do everything from wheat to sugarcane, so there's no need for anything, uh, any multiple planters and seeders and stuff like that. Uh, you have a pretty decent little supply here of fertilizer, lime, and liquid fertilizer. A... Uh, Sorry, I, I forget what it's called. <laughs> Pardon me. Yeah, the Hardy uh, sprayer over there and a Brendel with the extended spindles. Uh, a really good sized cultivator. And then it comes also with, it looks like a lime right there. And then this is where our grain production is. And this is the, the Pharma 400 OBI 1000. And of course, our ideal header. We're going to jump just north up here. And over here we have our FENT 942. And this is a decent sized tractor as well. And then a Power 2 Plus with our ideal 7. It's a good sized header on that. So that is a nice little way to start out. And this is, uh, like I said, about a nine acre field to start out here, and you will need it. Some of these are, are, are pretty good size. It'll take you a little bit of work to get these going. So that is good. Just north of the chickens here is a small sheep sheep pen. And as you can see, it gets about 15 sheep. So you should want to do that. And then also just north of here, there is a small cow enclosure. Uh, also only for about 15 cows. This uh, only produces milk, produce water, and drop off your feed. There is no slurry for manure, so relatively simple and straightforward if you really want to do animals. So all the animal fields are sellable, uh, and you can uh, you know get a decent little money, 37500 13000 for the sheep, and 3000 for the chickens. Also 2500 for the greenhouse. I did want to stop back by here. Uh, so it looks like Storgum is in the first field. And then uh, there is the grass field right over here. So you do start off with some crops that you can uh, move right along with if you need to. Uh, get some of those things going. Prices are pretty good. Uh, there is lots of different things to sell and buy here that you do not, do not normally see. I'll go through this pretty quickly. We have the standard uh, stuff, cut beets. I do have the uh, potato production mod installed, so you will see that on this list that may not be on yours if you do not have that mod. One that does come up is the stones, compost. There are different ways to do your wood. You can sell it directly. You can turn it into saws, uh, planks, and wood beams. Uh, there's also some relatively complicated construction for asphalt, coal, gold, um, cement, tar, steel. Um, you can do asphalt pallets if you want to. Um, you can also produce uh, crude oil from sand. Not sure exactly where the, uh, oh yeah, you could sell, it looks like you could sell the kerosene uh, directly to the neighborhood town. So up in this area right here, uh, is where you can sell kerosene and stuff like that. So that's, there's lots of potential for sales there. This map also does have a couple of extra types, uh, soybean straw, alfalfa, and clover that you can sell. So that was all the things that you can get on the Easy Farmer. Um, some quite nice little mods and a good pick of juiced up equipment or a nice Let's Play if you wanted to. Uh, to really get you kick-started if you want. Okay, 
So I did want to go over some of the uh, stuff that comes on the new farmer. Like I said, it is quite a generous uh, selection. So we'll kind of go over those real quick. You get the uh, Fent Vario 314 and uh, it has a decent capacity there. You also get the uh, favorite 315 that is uh, maxed out. Uh, the 515C is maxed out, so you get a decent sized small tractor with that. You do have a large tractor to choose from there, uh, the Vario 5942, and that has a really good amount of horsepower to handle all of your uh, heavy equipment, that planter, the large cultivator, uh, and some of the other stuff. So it's, it's actually pretty well matched. I was quite, quite impressed by that. Uh, the truck, this is a, a mod, the Anthem 6x4, MP505. Uh, good hauler there, 505 horses. I'm not sure if there's any more additional things that you can do to this truck. Now, the Fent Ideal, I do know that this can go up quite a bit. You can add uh, more capacity, more horsepower. Uh, so it can handle quite a lot. And there are some neat mods out there where, you know, you could put a 40-foot header uh, with enough uh, horsepower on some of the Fents. And a nice color of black. The wheel loader is the Torian 1511. Come out with that uh, 2017 Lizard pickup truck. Trailers have quite a few. You have your 30-foot uh, uh, Fent PowerFlow header that can do all the main stuff. Plus, you can see here that it can also do that uh, the clover. Corn header for your soybeans and corn. You have a nice cultivator here, uh, decent reach there, 12.2 meters to get those fields all cleaned up. And the, the planter that can handle all this stuff, the clover, the sugar cane, corn, uh, wheat, everything. It's nice. Uh, sprayers. Fertilizer spreaders with the full reach on that so you can get maximum uh, coverage. A good size mower with the 4411 G GMD, and I, I really like this one. It's a, it's a good little one. Excuse me, the yeah, the 4.4 meters, so that is a good swath. Uh, this wind rower. Uh, now, if you're familiar with this wind rower, it's a decent w wind rower. Uh, the width on it isn't crazy like some of the others, uh, but it does have that swathing ability from side to side or dead down in the center. Uh, Empress Baylor, nice and basic, but you know what? It gets the job done and doesn't require a whole ton of horses. We have all the tractors we need with 100 horses. Forestry equipment, we have our log loader, a good size log truck. So if you want to move, move up, like I said, to the Ponzi or Komatsu, you could do that and haul those larger logs. And then the stump grinder, of course. Uh, water and your water hauler front loader that's on that Fent. I think that's uh, the Fent B42. Uh, front loader tools, lots, you have a whole selection in there, including bag lifters, and then your high dump bucket and log grab. So if you wanted to bring that furry on out there and start doing uh, big pulls with that for your forestry equipment, you have lots of options as well. So, Oh, there's a couple more. I apologize. So the load loader drop deck so you can haul your equipment around, trailer heads for that large 30-foot header, and just the one weight so you can kind of keep yourself balanced. But that is the equipment rundown from top to bottom. And like I said, that's spread all over the map. Well, let's go ahead and hop in the truck here. And we're going to go up north first up the side of the lake. Now, looks like Poor Boy is definitely, um, lots of trees that you can definitely get into here, but they, they're not as close in as I originally saw in version one. They're not really super crowding the road. Uh, definitely gave it a more open feel. And we'll be heading up here to our first location. And this is, uh, you can make tar, coal coke. Uh, you just you uh, get your coal from your area, and uh, you can take that out and turn that into tar, which will go into other productions. 
There's your dump point right there. And we're just heading up north on, going directly north on the far right-hand side of the map. There is goodly distances to go. So, uh, you know, it's, it's not super small, but it's also not like a 16x map where, you know, all you seem to do is traveling. So I think it's a happy medium right there. Now, this is the main uh, southernmost road that goes east to west. And this is almost directly in the center of the whole entire map. So if you go up here, construction area. If you go over here, forested area, logging and construction. This is the animal dealership. Where you could purchase all your animals and, and other goods and supplies. I really like the fact that there's a lot of different elevations. There's also a lot of nice water here. Uh, it's a very varied map um, with lots of access to things. So it, it's not just a flat map. Now, if you're not into, uh, you know, non-flat maps, great. But, you know, this has some potential for, you know, some alpine if, if you do kind of like that. It has some nice features, you know, like the, uh, woo, missed that, like the fire station up here. Now, this here is the dealership. Lots of open space, so if you wanted to do a little bit of role play, you know, you could do that on uh, Farm Manager, just have the million and, and take it out. And you can just go right into here. Now, the access through here is a little tight. Uh, you have trouble with the larger equipment coming through here, but uh, it is accessible through the relatively large doors on either side of the bay. Door is a little tight to get through, little collisions there, but not really a big deal. But like I said, uh, there's a lot of potential for you know making this a big, big dealership. Take a look where we are at, and this leads off over into some forested area, residential sales for kerosene. There's a quarry dump from up here, and we will head up on the way to the quarry. It's actually quite impressive. Um, there is absolutely no end. <laughs> if, if you can, uh, here's the access to our farm right here. <laughs> Turning up north along the right hand side of the map towards the quarry, we have a good elevation change. A little random walk for the people through the wilderness here. And then there are several processing stations for debris crushers and coal and cement and all sorts of things. This one, if I think, if I remember correctly, is uh, for stone. So we will actually be going up to the quarry and then coming up along this road uh, so I can show you where the logging station is and that sort of thing. Because there's some nice little add-ons for farming. And here's one of those uh, small productions that I was talking about. Now, this one's actually relatively complicated. Um, you know, you take your stones, water, and methane, and then you can mix that into all of these outgoing products, which you can sell for construction and, you know, get all the different products, you know, you, to, you know, get gold or whatever else you are trying to, you know, build for production-wise. Okay. And we're heading up on the way to the quarry here. And we'll also do a nice flyover so you can kind of get a look at things. Oh, and the... Whew, bad Driving 101. Spin out. There we go. So the way station does work. There we go. Nice little look at this way station. Old equipment for character. And then down in here, there is a Klaus Turion front loader. And then you can, of course, uh, combine that with the Mac 
and uh, there is also a large gravel hauler, which I will show you when we get to the forestry equipment. So here's that Furion. You can see we'll get, we can get right into this. All right. So obviously <laughs> the uh, truck is not meant to haul rock. But anyway, uh, you can see everything kind of works there. You can pick up the rock and, and move it around. All right, and I will kind of see you at the south area. I'll point it out on the map, kind of where I've traveled, so uh, you don't have to watch me go all the way back down. Uh, the scenery is is good, but it's a lot of trees going by, so we'll go ahead and see in a moment. Okay, so we have arrived over at the logging area. I'll kind of show you where we're at. We came down from the quarry through this way. Uh, there's a kind of a shortcut through here. This is where that uh, large production area was. Um, this does have a container workshop, so you can work on trucks, do some changes. There is a large fuel tank here as well, so that you do not run out of gas. Go. Here's a low loader, uh, so you can move your equipment around with the uh, Mac, as well as uh, a large gravel hauler, logger truck, We've got some clamps, stump grinder, and uh, some, a smaller log picker. So, you know, you could start out small and move to big. Maybe you could get yourself uh, one of the nice big uh, automatic haulers like the Ponzi or like the Komatsu and do some hauling there. There is also a really nice little mod where you can uh, hook one of those automated uh, tree fallers to the back of your tractor. So that's kind of a neat little thing. So again, we're going to be heading up to the south here, and we'll be kind of trucking up this way, and I'll show you what's up here. And then up to the north here, if I remember properly, is a crude oil woo, crude oil production facility. So we'll go up and take a look at that. There are no toys on this map that I could see. But the potential for income across the board is, is quite large. Even some of the more expensive forested lands, I could definitely see where, you know, even though they are so expensive, that you could easily make your money out of them quite quickly. Yeah, so, yeah, you just put the sand in and you get the crude oil out. And, you know, obviously, probably the sand you would get from crushing down your stones. Guess, again, some nice views and change of elevation. You know, not your perfectly smooth roads, a little bumpy. Yeah, I could see uh, having some fun here with, you know, like buggies and carts and stuff like that some of these roads are are pretty pretty fun you know you could really get out and open her up so we're going to be heading to the right here and going more up to the north going north up to the left hand side of the map and there are another couple productions up in this area So this is an asphalt plant. And you can get your productions in here. Uh, you can get tar, gravel, sand, methane, and coal. And then outputs are asphalt and asphalt pallets. Uh, both of those net uh, pretty decent money. Yeah, so 7,000 for the asphalt. Oh, and also uh, bumping those planks up from wood beams and planks will also net you some pretty good money more. Now we're heading back down south, 
down the left hand side of the map and this is going to be taking us to where the main town is um, it's it's a relatively small town it's not super complicated there's lots of kerosene cell points that you can manipulate and uh, make some money so you have lots of choices as far as that goes here's one, another one of those right here park up right here and this is the cement production plant sand lime and stone powder you can make this cement actually quite realistic very very excited about that uh, while we're in here uh, these are the different productions asphalt brick cement uh, coking coal for, and crude cement oil different types of wood products gold bars gold and then uh, just material handling breakdown you have your greenhouse and then the furniture shop sawmill and the steel mill And it looks like, what was the steel? Yeah, so you take your coke, coal, iron, limestone, and lithium ore, and then you can make that into steel and steel pipe. So somebody put a lot of thought into, uh, you know, how these productions went. So that's pretty, pretty neat. Looks like we have a biogas plant over here. Oh, excuse me while I crash into things. This production point right here, the material production, this is the one where you can produce all of the different types of items. Uh, so coal, lime, trailings, pay dirt, uh, steam pay, lithium ore. So a lot of the things here that you can uh, turn into the products that you need. Uh, oh, there's the iron ore there. So you take uh, water, stream pay, stream dirt, and coal, and then that will produce your gold. And then to get the gold bars, you need coal and gold to smelt. Back down here. So now we're heading down to where the, uh, the a lot of the different other productions are. The wood production specifically, uh, this is your tiny vein smelting. This is where you do the gold, I believe. Yes, this is where you're, you make your gold bars from the different products pulled off the production. And then down here, you have two different types of uh, wood production. You have one for building your furniture, your planks, your all that sort of thing. And then the other one is general wood sales. So this is the general wood sales. Everything from uh, straight wood products to wood chip. And then this one here, you can do uh, all sorts of furniture and and. You can also do your planks, wood beams, and uh, dry boards and stuff like that. And those actually sell for a pretty decent amount of money. I think about uh, five to six thousand um, over just selling it for a few hundred for the wood straight. So we are headed back north, and then we're going to cut across the bottom road back towards the farm. Here's that farmer's market. It's basically the sell-all point. I believe that's an entrance to our land as well. Let's check here. No, it is not, but there is, oh, okay. So just, so that little road right here, that we just passed. Let me pull off to the side here. Yeah, stream pay, water, pay dirt, and coal. 
and then we can turn that into gold. And like I said, the gold, gold pays really well at 37, 37,000. Now, one nice thing about a lot of these, like the crude oil, you will notice here that uh, it is a stable price. There is no price fluctuation. So what you get out of construction a lot of times is what you get out of construction. So it's it's pretty straightforward. So if you're into making the money, that is a great way to do it. We are going to go ahead and hop back in the truck. And then just up ahead is the animal dealership right up there. Okay, so we've taken the south road. Uh, just on the, this is our property here. We're just running down this side of it. And the last two spots we're going to see are the brick production and the piney run furniture. So this is a brick production. Hurt. And uh, cement, clay, uh, river sand. Okay. And then uh, stone powder, and then we can make those bricks out of it. Yeah, so this is a nice little map. It just, you know, I, I think I'm really going to enjoy uh, the Zero series out of this, as I've said before. So I do hope you kind of join me on that. I There were a lot of really other nice maps. Um, that have been played i really just didn't want to they're great maps they really are but everybody and their brother has done them and i want to do something different so here's your uh your uh, timber sales and you can sell uh furniture and products like that here so uh we will kind of wrap this up on our way back I hope you enjoyed this map tour. Um, you know, there are lots of interesting things to see on it. Kind of a little bit of everything. You know, Silver Run is a very popular map since it came out on Platinum. And, you know, there's lots of projects that you can do. So I think Piney Run version 3 really has a lot to offer. Whether it's the first time you're here or whether you're revisiting, you can do a lot with this map, and I really highly recommend it. It is beautiful. It has had a lot of love and effort been put into it. And I hope that you check it out. This is Ray signing out.